Do you ever just invite people over to your house so you can get your house clean? Like, it's such a motivator when you know you're about to have to show your spaces to people to like want them to look their best. Well, garden tours are totally that for me with my garden. I don't stress about it. Like, I've definitely showed my weeds and my dying plants and all of that before. But it is a nice motivator to get out and pull weeds and prune and tie up and just do the maintenance that's involved with having a garden. Uh, when I know I'm about to make a video about it the next day that's probably going to be watched for years. Look at these random volunteers, a ground cherry, and that's an okra right there. I'm just gonna leave those. That okra is not really an ideal spot for an okra, but just one probably won't hurt anything. Tomorrow morning, I'm shooting a garden tour. Um, usually I shoot them on Friday mornings, unless it looks like it's gonna be bad weather or I have something going on, in which case I'll shoot it the evening before. I try to keep them as accurately a week apart as possible um, so we can really track the growth of things. And I was down here working and I thought, I haven't shot a video for today and I really need to get this stuff done. So we're just gonna chat while I weed this garden, which could take all evening. <laughs> Some of my stuff on my trellises did not germinate. Like this trellis doesn't have anything on it. And at this point, I really just want to get them covered. I just love the point of the garden where everything, all the trellises have stuff growing up them. And I'm probably going to come and plant a good deal of like cantaloupe type melons down here. I've already got Kajari melons on. Well, actually, this trellis is one that was supposed to have Kajari melons on it and they didn't, I don't guess they germinated or maybe they got eaten by those chickens that got in the garden that time. But I might plant Kajari melons. I may plant some other kind of cantaloupes. I do have one trellis that has Kajari melons and they're growing well. So uh, I'll definitely have that one. At this point of garden, the garden year for me, I know a lot of you are just getting your gardens in in more uh, cool climates, but for me, whenever it gets down to June or so, my garden peaks at the beginning of July, usually. Uh, so when it's coming down to this point, it's like it's time to get stuff planted and Like it was time to get stuff planted a couple weeks ago. And so what I will typically do is just start filling in all the holes and Planting stuff that grows well from seed. Check out how weedy this bed is. Things that grow well from seeds like Melons do pretty well, small melons. Um, I've already got all my watermelons in and they're already um, just about to start setting flowers. You can grow those from seeds, but they take longer to really put off fruit. But small melons, little cantaloupes and stuff like that, those do really well. Even if you live in a relatively short season, usually you'll have enough time to grow small melons from seeds. So that's a good thing to plant if you need to fill some space, especially if you have like a trellis that you need to put something on. Another thing is bush beans. Bush beans are so fast. You usually have beans in like 55 or so days, sometimes 60 days. So I, I haven't planted many beans up until right now in this season. I've got a little area over there with dragon tongue bush beans and I've already planted my noodle beans. And they are, have grown several inches up the trellis. So I will fill in a lot of these empty spaces with multiple, like some little skinny French green beans and some purple ones. I've done, I did plant my green stalk towers already with them as well. Another really fast growing thing to plant in direct sow, a squash, which I won't be putting any squash up in these front beds. I already have plenty of squash back in the back. But uh, usually you can, you can put a seed in the ground with summer squashes and be harvesting them in sometimes about 55 days. So that's really great. And it, you know, during this time of year, especially. Now I do feel like my garden is lacking a little bit in flowers this year. I've planted some and it may just be that they're not really very big yet, but I think I may give a couple 
more little areas over to some zinnias. Those do very well direct sown. They're so cheerful and happy later on. They do really well with, a, with heat for me and they'll grow right up until the frost. They'll be really big. They'll even, a lot of times for me where I have such a long growing season, my zinnias will flower and if I leave them to dry, they will drop seeds, reseed, and grow a second round of zinnias within the same season. So definitely something that's a good thing to fill some garden space with. I don't wanna to get too carried away with um, showing you stuff since that's for tomorrow. But here are some little directly sown roselles that I put in. You can tell they kind of look a little bit like okras. That's because they are in the hibiscus family, just like okra and um, yeah. That's pretty exciting. I sowed these like a week and a half ago. No, two weeks ago. And they're already that big. I've kind of been having suspicions that this garden this year is behind from last year. And I went back on my phone today and I was looking at photos from a year ago today. And last year's garden was definitely more advanced at this point. Not by a ton, but like the tomato plants were further up on the trellis. It, it, it was definitely more advanced, but we planted it sooner. This year we had those late freezes and I, I think probably didn't plant the garden until two or three weeks after last year. Bear, look, this bed is ready to plant some roses. I hear a woodpecker in my woods. I think tomorrow will be my first garden tour of the year where I'm going to be harvesting as well as touring. I've noticed a couple of little things and I'll go to pick them and be like, oh wait, don't do that. <laughs> I should shoot garden tour in the morning. I did go ahead and pick the squash that was ready earlier because by tomorrow it'll be baby sized. So I want to go ahead and get that. They grow super fast. I don't know if you can hear that. Sometimes the goats rub themselves up against the barn because, you know, they're goats. And it makes this really loud noise and it gets the dogs going because they don't know what it is and they can't see that far. That's what's happening. Con's barking at the goats. I just need to not be squatting for a second. <laughs> oh man. We started doing these workouts just to do some cardio and stuff every day, which of course we're really active on the farm, but I definitely could use to be in better shape and uh, started doing these and <clears throat> it's funny because like I don't know like it definitely took some getting used to and some soreness but then also really learned what muscles I have that are strong and uh, the muscles that I have that are the strongest are the ones that are needed for uh, like for squats because of gardening <laughs> and I was like okay I've got uh I've got the evidence of a garden workout that's pretty much what I'm working with here what did I check on your cucumbers yeah well I saw that there was one but leave it there so I can pull it tomorrow for the garden tour okay you can go look at it how big is it it's pretty big <laughs> what? big enough big enough that Dad got to pull it. Big enough that dad has to pull it? Is that what happens with the big stuff? Mommy. Yeah. Come back here. What is it? I know what they are. Those are kohlrabis. And they're getting bruisy. They're getting bruisy? Yeah, they're getting bad. Uh, yeah, it's just bugs are getting at the brassicas. Someone commented on one of my Instagram posts and said, Oh, I didn't think you had pests in your garden. There you go, guys. There's the proof. Hey, Mom. There are pests in my Mom, garden. You said the snacks would be done for tomorrow, so can we eat that snack? Yeah, you can eat some of those pickled vegetables. We'll have some when we go inside, okay? okay. We'll taste test it for our friends on YouTube, okay? Hey, check this out. So this garden is horrifically messy. This is a carrot that has started to go to seed. That's what the flowers look like. Isn't that neat? Really, really cool, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I can stand on water. Hey, Usually, carrots don't go to seed until the second season, but um, it's been a weird, we weird spring. Garden. Shouldn't be showing you that stuff. I'm supposed to wait to show you things until the garden tour. But I just want to show you all the things. What about you, Bear? Yeah. 
Do you want to show them all the things? Hey, have you checked the rain gauge today? Huh? It's one? It rained earlier. How much did it rain? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you hold it up. This is how you measure it. You hold it up here so it rained almost two inches, more like one and a half. You want to pour it out? Yeah. And put it back in. Let's go check on another rain gauge. Okay. Rain gauge. Rain gauge. That one's full. We got over 12 inches of rain in the last week, or maybe like eight days. That's nuts. I think you passed it. <laughs> really fast. <laughs> oh, we got six. Over six. Let me see. Um, well, actually, you're looking at centimeters. So, yes, we got six centimeters and a little over two and a half inches. So go ahead and pour that out. That one must not have gotten emptied out yesterday morning or last night. So that's yesterday's rain also. That's one. This is the other, that's the other. There's the other, and the other. Five gardens, huh? One, two. Actually, there's three, three in the back. Where? Because there's that little one next to the greenhouse. Oh yeah. So you're counting all the gardens in the back as one, all the in-ground gardens? Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to do. Really, we just have do you come, one Do you want to come farm. show them the snake in the well? I do not want to show them the snake that's in the duck house. There's a snake in the duck house. It's not hurting the ducks. It's eating the eggs. Not trying to be a diva, but Jeremiah's almost home. <laughs> and he gets to handle that. I am not moving that snake. I <laughs> just don't want to do it. The ducks are staying out of there. The kids went to hide in the duck house and they came out and they're like, Mom, there's a snake eating the duck eggs. I was like, well, he's about to get full because I'm not going to mess with that. Because that Man. I saw Look, an egg in its neck. There's a bird in my high tunnel. Oh, he just flew out. It was a cardinal. Well, what do you know? I was wondering, there was bird poop on one of my tomatoes today and I was like, what? All right, y'all, I'm about to show you inside the high tunnel, even though I'm shooting a garden tour tomorrow. You won't see it till Saturday. You'll see this tomorrow. So, we'll sneak preview. Check this out. Come on, Bear. You want to come in? Can I see the bird? What do you see? Don't pick it. Don't pick it. Just leave it there. I see a pepper. I probably and should a have pepper pulled those pepper. off, but yeah, they're definitely putting some fruit on. Okay, guys, I need some help. So I am a gardening YouTuber that just is not good at growing peppers. I need help. I need to know what to do because my tomatoes look really good, healthy, happy. I'm having a little bit of branch curling here, but I believe that is because, and we were having really hot days. We put the shade cloth over the top of the high tunnel and I think that's gonna help. I think it was just those fluctuations were stressing them out, but they'll be okay. Even though they're curling their branches like that on top, I'm not stressed out about it. Not all of them are doing that either. But my peppers are a mystery to me. So some of these I know, like these right here that just shriveled up and died, I separated those apart. So I think I disturbed the roots and then planted them some of them i feel like i feel like these look good i mean those look like good peppers right some of them yeah these are okay but like these are drooping really hard and i don't know like did this one set this too soon should i pull that off should i pull that off and then down here more dried up and a bunch of them and they were the smaller ones, so they were smaller being transplanted, but they were hardened off. And they just dropped all their leaves and, yeah, died. I mean, I guess they're not dead dead, but, I mean, I'm not feeling super hopeful. So, like, what happened here? At first, it was just these down on the end, and I thought it was a critter that did it. But then a bunch more did it the next day. This all happened pretty soon. Now, some of them are starting to put little new sprigs off the side so I'm just leaving them to see what will make a recovery but I just don't understand like many of these were store-bought some of them were started by me but I just don't I don't know I would be really appreciative of any advice I don't know why I have just not done well at growing peppers but this this is gonna be my year I'm gonna get a good pepper harvest I just need 
I need help. So if anybody knows what's up with that. These over here seem to be doing okay. They're small, but like none, this didn't happen to any of these. They all kept their leaves and look okay. And then down here, these the same. I mean like since these have planted, since these have been planted, they're all looking really nice, growing new leaves and spreading out. So why did those other ones do that? I don't know. So feedback, please school me, teach me how to grow peppers. Uh, we're gonna do mulch in here, but we've just been figuring out the irrigation. Now I've got a little bit of mulch down on my tomatoes, but we actually decided to run two more lines of the drip tape here because of the fact that these are planted so densely and the drip tape really waters what it's right next to. It doesn't really spread out just a whole lot. So we ran two more lines down. So there's actually four lines down this row uh, to be able to water these more effectively. The tomato rows only have two because that's all I'm growing in these beds is two rows of tomatoes. And this right here is a really good visual for where I get asked a lot if you can plant tomatoes on both sides of the cattle panels. I do one run of cattle panels to one row of tomatoes. And this is the first time I've ever done double in a bed. I don't know that I would have done this here in Arkansas where I live outside of the high tunnel setting. I think in the high tunnel setting that this will be okay because these plants aren't gonna be getting rained on a lot. I should not be talking about this right now. This is garden tour stuff. Oh well, you should still watch the garden tour. <laughs> I'll probably say this again. But uh, with these growing up like this, I, it is going to kind of restrict the airflow a little bit. Uh, for them to be growing that closely together, but they're not going to be wet, and so they're I'm not going to have the moisture issues. It's obviously still going to be humid outside because it's humid in Arkansas in the summer. What did you see? I saw we we didn't see anything. Oh, dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. That's exactly how I feel every time I see something good in the garden. Dun dun dun. Yay! <laughs> Very cool. There's lots of little baby peppers on these, huh? Hey, look. Dun, 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 dun. Those are bell peppers. Um, you gonna help? Wait, are they spicy? No, they're sweet, but they're not big enough yet, so just leave them alone. Well, this one's big enough. Nope, no, it's not. Let's leave it alone. You're so eager to eat a pepper, huh? Yes. Just give it a little more time. Also, can we talk about how cute my green color palette uh, tea posts are out here. Aren't these adorable? I wanted all the colors in here to be green because green is my favorite color. I love this. Some of them think like, that's really minty and there's another one that actually is more blue and one that's more teal but for the most part these are all kind of complimenting. What? I found something amazing. You found something amazing? I didn't even see it. I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Those do look really good. I'm gonna leave them and pick them tomorrow. Yeah, one's very big. Look back in here. Look in there. Everywhere. <laughs> ah, ah, all over plants. <laughs> mommy, mommy, is this one it's starting to change colors? Yeah, it's looking good. I'm about out of light out here. It's getting dark. Yeah, it is getting really dark. Look. Why do, why, do, why do bears have whiskers? Bears have whiskers or dogs have whiskers? Dogs. <laughs> I think it helps them feel things. It just makes them look like a dog, not a human. Well, when you grow up, you're going to have whiskers on your chinny chin chin, like daddy. <laughs> not a chinny chin chin chin. <laughs> okay, are you ready to try the snack? Yeah. Now that it's been in the fridge for a whole day. Don't y'all love how I'm shooting another video in my kitchen? All right, I'm gonna give you a few pieces in this bowl for you to eat, okay? Let's see, let's get a few of the pieces, like here. So that purple cauliflower turned the whole thing pink. That's interesting, huh? Pink? You don't make it all pink. Ah, oh, it smells good. It smells vinegary. Okay, you wanna eat it with your fingers or get a fork? Let me see your face. What do you think? Spicy. It's spicy. Is it too spicy for you? Too spicy. 
I like how you're taking a second bite after you say it's too spicy. It's and good. the third. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Why is there no kohlrabi? Why is there no kohlrabi? That could have been a good thing to put in here. I shouldn't well, think about it. Put it in there so I can get some juice. You want to drink the juice? That's vinegar. I know. Some of this, yeah. Looks <laughs> good. My little garden eating boy. Mm. I do like the onions. You gonna try the carrots? I don't taste them. You haven't tasted them yet? <laughs> Need some water? Yes, please. You getting some more? A full scoop of more. Full scoop of more? Well, I'm glad that you approve of it. I like it. <coughs> what do you think, Toby? It's very good. You like it's it? Very good. Mm -hmm. Toby likes spicy and pickled stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Ooh, tart, huh? That's that vinegar. <laughs> Mom. Pickled veggies, if you missed the video uh, from this, I'll put a link to it down below. I shot it yesterday, we just made these, so they've been in the fridge for about 24 hours. Really tasty treat, and we grew uh, all the veggies in this jar. It's pretty exciting. So I'm gonna cook dinner. I obviously came back inside because I am a, a responsible adult that does cook meals. <laughs> Although it's a little later than I would like to admit. <laughs> so, so thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I bless you. Until next time.